Well, there is a saying in the news business, goes like this, TV producers don't believe it's cold unless they see one of their reporters outside freezing in it. But our producers decided it was simply too cold to put our Katie Crowther out on the frozen streets. So tonight she is live in the newsroom with a look at how we're all coping, Katie. Yeah, Carol and George, I'm one of the lucky ones tonight. Bottom line, it is not safe to be outdoors tonight. I was out there earlier checking on how the cold is impacting people, pets, and businesses. This biting cold is a welcomed boost for winter focused businesses. But for a lot of us, it takes some getting used to and is always made easier by friends. The freezing temps kept many people away from opening night of Slice of Ice. When it's cold, there's less people, so it's easier to skate faster and stuff. We found a couple of brave teenagers with the rink to themselves. The cold doesn't bother me. If you throw on a few layers, it's not bad. If you keep going, you kind of build up a sweat. But staying outside for too long in these conditions is dangerous. Maddock Animal Control Officer Paul Schmidt patrols for pets in danger. The best way to help a lot of animals is to help educate the owners. He's responded to an increased number of calls about strays in the cold. We're all come back in about 30 minutes to see if the dog is still out there. And owners keeping their animals outside. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to go up and just recommend that they have a shelter, someplace warm. The same goes for people. Milwaukee's rescue mission and other shelters are trying to reach everyone. If you see someone in the cold, contact the police, they will help. MPD's homeless outreach team is out in full force. We provide them with some homeless kits for their squads to help people who are outside, and they will bring people to us as well. And it is only going to get colder. Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley announced today that they are trying to add more warming centers and shelters. If you're part of a church or organization that may have capacity to become a warming center, you are urged to get in touch with the county. Carolyn George.